Hello, this is David from the Book Man in Orange, and I welcome you to Things Found in Old Books. Yes, my wrist is still broken, and I want to thank you for all the kind comments that you left me. Today is part two of Wade's stuff. So we have more of Wade's stuff. Wade is a uh, bibliophile that comes into our store a lot, and he brought me a bunch of stuff that he found over the years. And we shared some last week, and we're going to continue on with Wade's stuff and share some more today. Now, we he brought us this Victorian trade card. And, uh, this is awesome. It's really great. Now, the Victorian trade cards were super popular from, from 1875 to 1900. They were, they were usually brightly colored. Uh, they're larger than a business card and smaller than a postcard. And uh, they're all kind of the same. And they're really bright. They're known for the, having the great coloring and artwork. And it was like, it was a form of advertising. Not quite sure how it would work, but I guess they would, it would, it would hand it to you or leave it somewhere for you to find. And, and uh, it, it was like, instead of Facebook and Instagram, they had the Victorian trade cards. <laughs> and they... And this one here is, is awesome because it's got, a, it's a, for a bookstore. It's for uh, the uh, Fitch and Billings Company Book Stationery and Periodicals in Elmira, New York. And in the, in the picture, they got like a bunch of little pixies uh, running around in the store. And they're, 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 they're writing with the big pen that they would sell. And the, over here is a Dixon pencil. And uh, they got a little little pixie stuck in a book press over here. <laughs> they got they're selling uh, uh, mucilage and 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 ink. <laughs> and uh, there's the guy, the 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 baffled customer, peeping, sticking his head through the door, going, "What the heck? Look at all the pixies!" <laughs> and so uh, I thought that was it was fantastic. It's just a great card. I'm, I'm in love with this thing. I really am. And the uh, bookstore was there from. Uh, from like 1882 uh, to 1946. So it was there for quite a while there in Elmira. And uh, uh, I did find some pictures of it and, and I'm sharing them here. And uh, now, today, it just looks like a, a sterile old building. And I think all the pixies have gone home. We don't have pixies anymore. In the same vein, we found this card, or Wade, Wade found this card here. It's kind of a, a, a trade card, too. It's from the 1800s, 1886, uh, but it's more very utilitarian. It's more of an advertisement for uh, this right here. It's, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a it's called a protector, and you use this protector on your wiffle tree. Now, your wiffle tree needs a protector. So you put the protector on your wiffle tree. And uh, what, what's a wiffle tree? <laughs> well, if you had a horse and buggy or you're out plowing the fields, you would know what a wiffle tree is. It's the, it's the little things that go around the horse. I guess they were made out of wood. That Each horse had a, a thing around it. and You'd hold the reins and keep the horse all in one place. So you would get the protector and you'd put it on the wiffle tree and it would keep the reins from falling. I'm not sure exactly how it worked, but here's a card. If you want to get a protector for your wiffle tree, call these guys because they have it. The wiffle tree people. <laughs> Finally, uh, in this we have from the Chevy Chase Club in uh, uh, Maryland, which is a really hoity-toity uh, 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 what do I, what, what I want to call it? A, it's not a club, but it, it's like a resort. Or, or and uh, you would go there and you'd have dinner and you'd play golf and it was a, a beautiful course. Now Chevy Chase is a name that's been around for a long time. It's not just the the guy on TV and movies. This was from 1927, and this card was sent from the Chevy Chase Club to uh, Mr. Burt Cornwell over at the Mayflower Hotel in Washington, D.C. Now, the Mayflower Hotel is still there, and it's a hoity-toity hotel. Uh, it's quite quite fancy. And in, in the envelope was a golf card. Yes, somebody's sent a, their, their golf score. Now, I don't know 
anything about golf. I'm sorry, so maybe some of the watchers might know, but they, uh, it was like a, a, a par 69, and, and the guy went to par, he got like 80 or 90 or something like that par. So I don't know if that's good or not. Is, is 90 good? I don't know. But anyway, maybe he was really happy with it. Maybe it was very good. So he folded up the card, put it in an envelope. He sent it to uh, Bert Cornwell and said, hey, buddy, beat this. <laughs> Here's my card. And uh, just to prove that I did it. So <laughs> again, I uh, that's all I have today. I want to thank Wade. Wade, that was great. You had great stuff, and, and I really appreciate it. If any of you out there have any stuff that you would like to share, just get a hold of me at uh, ebook. No, no, no. Get a hold of me at oldbook at ebookman.com. And uh, that's all I have. So I want to say thank you and good day.